it's, it's got two twigs and all these popsicle sticky things. Mm. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm Jackson. You know, uh, Maggie had me collect these twigs and sticks, and then she glued them all together. Hi, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. I'm Maggie. Welcome to Crazy Quilt. Maggie, our uh, stick and uh, twig oh. thingamabob is just about ready. Great. The glue's dry. Well, we need that for our story today. Oh, yeah, we do. We well, do. Well, well, what is it? Uh, <laughs> looks like a ladder. That's exactly what it is. One of the people in our story wants to touch the moon, and so a ladder is built. A ladder? <laughs> you can't touch the moon by climbing up a ladder. <laughs> you need a rocket ship. Zoom! Well, you know, Jackson, there is another way to touch the moon. Oh, yeah, sure. You can always... Um, what is it, Maggie? <laughs> We're going to start by making a crown for a prince. Oh, a crown for a prince. Who's going to be the prince, Maggie? Uh, could it possibly be somebody named Jackson? Oh, boy, I get to be the prince. Woohoo! Great. Well, then we have to try on the crown and see if it fits. Well, that's the crown? Mm -hmm. It's a piece of construction paper that I cut into triangly well, shapes looks like on the top. Looks like a bunch of mountains. Mm -hmm, it does. And now I'm going to just roll it into a circle okay, and, and then see where if it you fits. Gonna put it? Oh, yeah. where do you want it? No, uh, right on, on the top I of... I can't see where you're doing it. <laughs> right on the top of your head. Oh, oh, you want me to stay still? Yeah, that'll okay. help. <gasps> Very good. Now, you might want to put the crown around your head like that. I beg your pardon? But Jackson can't hear very well when it's over his ears. Can I stop staying still? Yes, you can move now. <sighs> good. Now we get to decorate oh, it with boy. anything you have that might look Pretty. Might look like fancy jewels. Fancy jewels? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have any fancy no, jewels. No, but you I... do have some shiny tape. Oh, shiny tape. That's right. great. So I'm just going to pull it along so it's nice and straight. Oh, yeah. And Let's then see. squeeze it down. Is that hard to do, Maggie? Well, it takes a bit of practice. You know, sometimes when I try to do that, it gets all wrapped around my paw. Well, you know, if you don't want to use tape, you could always use markers and oh, draw yeah. a line. What about paint? Could you use paint? Paint would be great. You could use all kinds of fancy colors. Yeah. yeah now, we could also good. use, um, use yeah, we'll show everybody like oh, that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You can also use things to decorate it that stick out a little bit. Things that like, oh, I don't know, um, mm. breakfast cereal? Oh, breakfast cereal. I love that. But, um, Maggie, mm -hmm. uh, there's still some left for breakfast, isn't there? Oh, absolutely. Oh, good. Oh, I wouldn't do any anything like that, Jackson. Oh, <laughs> no. What color are you going to use? Oh, I thought I'd use pink, pink and nice. green yeah, pink. and, um... Blue, Blue is good. And purple, yeah, yeah. you know, basically whatever colors I have that I like. Here's one that's even blue and pink together. Oh, those are good, <laughs> those ones. Yeah. Oh, here's a nice red one. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you don't have any breakfast cereal that you could spare, you could use buttons oh, or buttons would be good. Um, stickers. Could, oh, yeah. Could you just sort of cut construction paper and make designs with them? Oh, that's a good idea. Actually, I've got a little bit of construction paper that we cut into squares oh, left over great. from something oh, so else. Oh, that's a good idea. It's a great idea. And you could even use strange and unexpected things. Strange things like unexpected things dried like pasta. Oh, dried pasta. I yeah. never thought you'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I painted it so it's red here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. A kind of twistily whistily one. Right. Yeah. And I've got one that's blue, too. Oh, we'll do great. that. Great. So you can just have lots of fun with that. Can I wear it now? I think we have to set it aside to let it dry. Oh, yeah, so that. Okay, I'll just put it down here. Off. Yeah. But we do need to make something else. We, mean, we need to make someone who works for the prince, somebody, somebody. very important. Um. We are going to make the Minister of New Toys. Oh, yeah, the Minister of New Toys is mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a candy box for me? I, I have a candy box, but I'm afraid I. I 
I kind of use up all the candy somehow. <laughs> and, I, and, you know, I, I wrap this candy box up, you know. Did you? But oh. I can't get that part to stick down. No, that's great. We want this flap sticking up just like that because we'll use that for the collar of the minister. Oh, he's Here's got one of those body. fancy collars. Yeah. And look, Jackson left the bottom open, which is a great thing to do, Jackson. Well, I just didn't have enough paper. But look, you know? it'll fit on my fingers so I can use it like a finger puppet. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now let's dress him up. I've got a piece of construction paper. It used to be kind of a rectangle, but I cut the edges off. Oh, it looks kind of like a house now with a kind of a flat roof. Uh -huh. And now I can wrap it around like this. That. What's that going to be, Maggie? Well, that is going to be his cloak. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, right. like an old-fashioned thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just put some tape on it like this to hold it on. Mm -hmm. And a belt made out of a strip of felt. Oh, a nice fancy belt. Mm -hmm. A deeply felt belt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm going to just put the fold right in the center. Right. How, but how are you going to get that to stay together? Well, you know, he works for the prince, so I figure he probably has some of that nice, shiny tape oh. on his belt. Buckle. That'll look like fancy, expensive metal buckles or something. Right. And you could put buttons on there or anything you like to keep it looking fancy. Now, Let's fold down the corners of his cloak. What's that for? Well, it'll look like lapels. Lapels? You know, on a, on a jacket or sometimes a winter coat, you've got those sort of triangly bits that fold oh, down. Yeah, yeah, like when the collar oh. kind of falls back or right. something. And that's called a lapel. A lapel. And I'll make hmm. it look even fancier by gluing on a different color of construction paper. It'll just look like he's really like he's dressed up. He's got coats up. inside his coats or something. <laughs> That's right, indeed he does. Well, he'll be nice and toasty warm if he yeah. has to go out on a mission for the prince. Yeah, like maybe he has to go find new toys mm -hmm. in the snow or something. And he's very good at his job because he actually has several medals. Medals? Yes, things that he's won. Oh, like a ribbon oh. or a prize. Oh, and like for, for, for like maybe special toys he, uh -huh. de he designed? Like, uh, I don't know, the, the, the automatic uh, uh, sandbox digger-iggers? <laughs> or maybe, um, oh, I don't know, I... maybe the doll that says, how are you? Oh, nice. Or something like that. This is a little bit of pipe cleaner, that? but it's shiny pipe cleaner. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like tinsel or something. Yeah, tinsel, that, yeah, like that. And yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of the shiny tape on here too okay so that'll be his his digger agar metal and the tinsel will be his <laughs> dolly wally metal right yeah. and we'll just let that sit for a minute and dry and now of course we need to work on his head well right because he can't invent without a head I don't right think. this is a styrofoam ball on a popsicle stick so that'll fit right in we've, we've got a slit in the box i think it was a lemon popsicle too hmm I've got a bead that I put on a pipe cleaner, What's and I'm going to stick it in the top of his head like a fancy cap. Oh, boy, is that ever wacky. Yeah. That's neat. Oh. Sort of like a little feather coming oh, yeah. up here. Or maybe he has wild hair that comes out <laughs> over his cap. <laughs> and I've got some hair that we could put on the back of his head. Oh. I've got a pipe cleaner that I just bent into kind of a circly shape, yeah. and I'm going to poke it in around the edges. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Sometimes people have that where they just have hair on the back. That's right. right. Yeah. Uh, that's not a problem you're ever going to have, is it? Well, no, I don't think so, <laughs> no. I'm going to give him a beard with yeah. a bit of pipe cleaner coming down. A little mustache, just a oh, bit of boy, pipe cleaner going across. Oh, boy, this guy has lots of fancy stuff. Uh-huh. And, of course, we have to give him some eyes. Right. So I have a couple of little beads, and I'm going to poke a hole just to make sure it fits in really easily with my pencil. Right, right. And there's one bead. And where's the other bead? Oh, know. it might have Let's gone see. walking. Mr. Ooh. Bead, Mr. Well, bead, where are you? You know what? I've got a different bead that I'll put in. Oh, so maybe have... he's wearing a monocle. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, Marco, oh, like, yeah. like glasses, but only in one eye. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. I, I like, like that. that. Yeah. That's the fun thing we about making like crafts. Yeah. You always surprise yourself. Different <laughs> things happen. What is that every while? There's the Minister of New Toys. Okay. Oh, let's get the crown back oh, up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's dry. I, I think it is. Dry. All I have to do is put a little bit of tape on it. Yeah, yeah, can I wear it? Absolutely. Let me just tape it together okay. like that. Okay. And let's see the prince and his minister. I am the prince. One night, a young prince was sitting in his room in the tower of the castle. He never left yeah. his room. Everything came to him. He was so used to getting everything he wanted, he was bored silly. I'm bored. I need something new and very exciting. Perhaps I can help you. I am, after all, the Minister of New Toys. Would you like a new train? No! I have a mansion full of trains. I don't want any more trains. Hmm. Would the prince like a new game? No, I have a palace full of games. I don't want any more games. Would the prince like some new clothes? Oh, yuck. I have a castle full of new clothes. Then uh, what would the prince like? Oh, I don't know exactly. I just want what I want. Just then, the prince noticed the big, bright moon shining in the night sky. There! That's what I want! That's exactly what I want! I want to touch the moon! But, Prince, um, how can I give you such a thing? It's your job to give me exactly what I want, and I want to touch the moon. If I can't touch the moon, I'll cry till I'm blue. No, 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 Prince, don't do that! Um, I'll call in the royal inventor. I'm sure he will find a way. So, Maggie, we get to make a royal inventor now. Actually, Jackson, we get to make three royal inventors. Three? Oh, and, boy. Mm, and they're going to be finger puppets. Oh, puppets. I love puppets. <laughs> so do I. They're going to have to be really small. So I've got three different containers. Oops. This one is a tube that candy came in. Is there any candy left? No, we finished no, that. No, I thought not. And this oh. is a little box, and this one's a little box that I think raisins came in. It's yeah, even they smaller. Yeah, they were good. They were really good. I put wrapping paper on these two, but this one looks a little plain yeah, still. Yeah, I don't think it matches the other two because it's not fancy enough. Do you think you could decorate it for me, Jack? Oh, yeah, yeah, I could decorate it. Okay. Here. Great. Hey, I've got some stickers down here. I think if I put stickers there... Now, this one I decorated I with there. some construction yeah. paper for a belt as well, and I cut a little triangle here so I can put his head in more easily, and his head is a pom-pom, and I glued on a mouth of red construction paper and some eyes that were craft foam with a couple of dots on them. You can use construction paper for that. And I'm just going to tuck that in like that. And he needs to be a little fancier. So I've got the top that came with the tube that had the candy in it. It looks just like a hat. So I'll put a little glue on it and set it on the hat. That's sort of a fun little angle, so he's out having a good time. Now this one, I put a head that's a bead, and I painted a face on, and I put a button with another button on it for decoration. And he'll be even fancier, so I'll put a feather in the top. Jackson, have you got that tube decorated? Yeah, yeah. I made it really fancy stars and spots and <gasps> everything. Oh, wow. He must be very, very smart. Oh, yeah, and he invents lots of good toys. I've got a little bit of plasticine to put on his neck. And for his head, I just took some construction paper for hair and Whoa. fringed it. Wow. And some cardboard, and I drew a little face. And we'll just stick it on like that. We have three very smart inventors. So the Minister of New Toys called in the royal inventor to see the spoiled prince. I am the royal inventor, your highness. How can I help you? I want to touch the moon, and I want to do it now. Don't worry, Prince. I know just the thing. I'll build you a moon ladder. So, Maggie, can we decorate the ladder now? Because it's for the prince. Oh, I think we'd better. 
Now, we could decorate this ladder with anything that we have. I'm going to start with some shiny pipe cleaners. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll look like it's going right up to the stars. And so one thing you can do is wrap the pipe cleaners around the rungs of right, the right, ladder. Right. Like that. And then maybe bring it down and tie it around the end. Yeah, because when you're climbing up to the moon, you don't want to trip on it. <laughs> like that, right. Now, we could also use the pipe cleaners. Let's use a different color. Let's use pink. And we could use the pipe cleaner to hold things on. So if I curl some pipe cleaner right, around my right, pencil, right. I could stick a feather in there. Oh, boy, this is going to be the fanciest ladder in the world. Well, he's a pretty fancy prince. Yeah. You could also take a pipe cleaner and put it through some pasta oh, like yeah. that. And we'll tie that around here. Well, that's going to be perfect. Like <laughs> that. Whoa! <laughs> you could take some wool and turn it into a tassel by wrapping it around a box and then tying some other wool around it in the middle. Oh, is that how you yeah. do that? Should that go at the top or the bottom? Mm. I, 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 well, I, if it's at the top, then it's something to aim for oh, as you're climbing. Oh, that's a good idea. So, so you don't lose your way on the ladder. Right, we'll just tie a little knot here. Right. We could use beads, we could use stickers, we could use just about anything to make it fit for a prince. Here you go, your highness, a moon ladder. Oh, a moon ladder. <laughs> Full of holes. I'd have to climb each rung by myself. But, what are you but, thinking uh, of? Uh, you uh, can uh, see air through that. Uh, ladders aren't for princes. Oh. Ladders are for, like, painters or maybe, I don't know, people who fix roofs. But, but your I'm highness. a prince. Take it away. Oh, I yes, want what highness. I want. I want what I want. I'll scream, I'll scream until I'm purple if I can't touch that moon. No, ah! no, no, Prince, Prince, don't do that, please. I, I'll call in the more royal inventor. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he will find a way. More royal inventor, come here. Uh, yes? I want to touch the moon with something better than that lousy ladder. I'd have to climb it with my hands and feet. <laughs> don't you worry your little head, Prince. I will build you the most beautiful stairway to the stars, right up to the moon. We're going to make a stairway to the stars, Jackson. A stairway? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Will we be able to reach the moon then, Maggie? Well, we'll have to make the stairway first, and then we'll get back to our story and see what happens. Okay. To make the stairway, well, I know it's got to be long, so I took a great big piece of construction paper and I cut it into kind of a triangly oh, shape. Oh, slanted it. That's right. Oh, yeah, you know what that reminds me of? You know when you look at a road or something and it seems to get smaller as you go along? That's right, because it's so far away. Yeah, and so now that's I'm, what that's going to be like. I'm going to fold it like an accordion. So I put it on the edge of my accordion. table and fold it. I tried and then to I fold an accordion back. once. It was really hard to fold. I bet it was really noisy, too. Yeah, it was a racket. They said, <laughs> stop folding that accordion. <laughs> well, you can also think of it as folding it like a fan that you use oh, when yeah. you're really hot. Oh, yeah. I guess that doesn't make as much noise, does it? <laughs> and it'll look like a stairway, because you know how stairs have parts that go flat oh, and then yeah, parts yeah. that go up the uppy parts and the over parts right Ups and overs that's I right well that's called. what we're making without having to make every little piece separately yeah, and then glue them made together out of wood and stuff, something yeah. yeah well it's sort of a magical stairway right. i guess what are the ups and overs called anyway oh maybe? those are treads for the part treads. that you tread on or walk on, and I, risers for the part that rise up. Well, I thought treads were something that came out when, you, when your clothes are falling apart. <laughs> See, and it looks like a fan. Oh, oh so cool. But Thank if I you. open it up, it looks like a stairway. Oh, nice. Now we'll have to make it fancy and put yeah, stickers yeah, yeah. and drawings yeah, on it because he's stuff. a pretty grumpy guy. Yeah, well, we'll see what it looks like when we get back to the story, okay? There, Johannes. 
One beautiful stairway to the moon with suns and stars and planets. Everything you need. Huh. Once you walk up that stairway, you will be your highness. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I know it. And you will touch the moon. Ha! <laughs> A stairway to the stars? I'd have to climb each step by myself. How ridiculous. Take it away. I want what I want. I'll hold my breath till I'm orange if I can't touch the moon. No, 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 Prince. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'll call in the most royal inventor. I'm sure he will find a way. Most royal inventor. Oh, uh, oui. <laughs> I am the most royal inventor. The greatest and the best at your service, You Prince. better be good, inventor. Oh, wait. <laughs> I want to touch the moon, and I don't want to climb up or step on anything. Oh, don't worry, Prince. I will build you the most beautiful spaceship that will take you right up to the moon. Yeah, the spaceship. That'll take the prince to the moon. Let's make a spaceship, Maggie. I'm all set, sir. Okay. Ready and I. All right. Okay, what I've, do we do? I've got a, a plate and some creamers, like the kind that you get in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And a paper cup. The paper, paper cup. cup. That's that's for the nose cone, you oh, know, the, yeah. the pointy yeah. part of the spaceship. Yeah, but you know, usually those are all kind of fancy, Maggie. There's a job for Jackson. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> While Jackson's doing that, I'm going to glue on the creamers for engines. So I'm going to dunk my engines in a pot of glue and stick them on my plastic plate. A paper plate would work fine, too. And I'm going to just space them around, because it is a spaceship after all. Now I'm putting it all the way around the plate so it'll balance well. And we push them down, and when we're ready, we flip it over. And there are the engines ready to go. This plastic cup will work for the body of the spaceship. So I just put some glue on that and put it in the center. Jackson, how's Maggie, the nose cone? I make a really good one, I <gasps> think, this time. Look. Ooh, <laughs> stars and moons yeah, and squiggles for speed. Yeah, speed squiggles, That's I call them. That's great. I'm going to put some glue on that and attach it. Boy, I, I wish it were me going to go up into space. Yeah, I'd love to go to the moon. I think it would be so exciting. You could float around and see the Earth from your beautiful spaceship. Well, Jackson... There it is. I hope it'll make the prince happy. There you are, prince. A beautiful, brand new spaceship. I built it myself. All to your specifications. You will not have to do a thing. You just get into the spaceship. You lean back. You hear the engines roar. You point to the moon and voila! Eh. I think I would like the moon to come here instead. Quoi? Why should I go to it? Take it away. I want what I want. If the moon won't come here so I can touch it, I will tell the king, and you will all be in lots of trouble. No, no, your highness, please don't do that. Spare us. We'll think of something. Hmm. You'd better. So, the Minister of New Toys, the Royal Inventor, the More Royal Inventor, and the Most Royal Inventor put their heads together and tried to think how to get the moon to come down. We'll uh, have to think of something soon. That prince wants to touch the moon. If we don't make it come down here, we'll lose our jobs. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Outside in the garden, an ordinary little inventor a clever little girl, heard the royal inventor, the more royal inventor, the most royal inventor, and the minister of new toys moaning and groaning. The prince himself will never be clever, not today or tomorrow or ever and ever. If he won't start using his own head instead, he should never get up. He should just stay in bed. Who said that? Who said I should stay in bed? Who said I don't use my own head? I did. And if you did know how to use your own head, you would know how to touch the moon without a ladder or a stairway or a spaceship. Really? Now that sounds interesting. How do you do that? Hmm. Do you know how to do that? 
I can show you. Meet me in the garden. So for the first time in his life, the prince ran lickety-split down the stairs from his room all the way out to the garden. <sighs> Whoa! I never felt like that before. That was fun. I might do that again tomorrow. <laughs> you think that was fun? You should try playing tag in the garden. Tag? Whatever is that? Well, it's a game, Prince. A game? Hmm. I don't believe I have that game. Uh, it's not a game you have. It's a game you play with friends. Oh, now that sounds very, very interesting. But, but just one minute. You said I could touch the moon without ladders or stairways or spaceships. You really don't know how? You really do just look here in this little pond why it's the moon right here in my garden i can just reach out and touch it oh! I, I touched the Yay! moon i touched it i did it and all by myself oh do you know what i want to do now no what play tag <gasps> will you teach me how to play it so the prince learned how to play tag and he made a new friend and learned how much fun it was to run and play. Oh, wow, Maggie, that's a great way to touch the moon. Let's go out and try it now. Oh, good idea, Jackson. Okay, the last one to touch the moon is green cheese. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time on Crazy Quilt. Bye-bye, Jackson. Wait for me. Here's how we made the pond. I took some blue construction paper and cut it out in kind of a circly shape, but lots of soft edges. Yeah, it looks like a potato. <laughs> kind of. And then I took some green construction paper and cut it out all spiky. Like oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like the, the bulrushes and everything. That's yeah. right, or the tall grasses that yeah. grow beside it. I just had a little flap so I could tape it underneath. Oh, yeah, it And looks then pretty. I cut out a circle that looks just like the moon in our quilt, and I taped it down to make it sit. In oh, the pond. Maggie, is that very nice? You know, I love that story. I like the way you. Yeah, you know.